So you want to start off by making sure that you have all of your materials readily available. Your PET film, of course. A water mister or a water spray bottle. A hard density a squeegee. I like using a razor blade, very sharp one, although you can also use an X-Acto knife. A piece of glass. And one paper towel. Start off by peeling up about one inch of your PET film like so. And then form a ledge at the edge of your table. Make sure it sticks really well. Then quickly, one swift movement, unroll it by pulling it down. Then just let it hang there for a little bit. Meanwhile, get your glass. Try not to touch the surface. Only try to touch the back. Spray it with your water. Make sure it's completely saturated and wet. Next, lift up your film and line it up. I use my knees to hold the roll back while I free it. I leave about one inch flap on both sides. Next, I lift up one corner and I hold it at about a 45 degree angle. Use the squeegee to work out all the water and all the air bubbles. Do the opposite corner. Again, working out all of the air bubbles and water. Do, do it to the other corners as well. It's important that you not get any water or air bubbles trapped in the center part as that's where you'll be doing the majority of your 3D printing. So you don't want to have that there. If you do see one, it's okay to peel it all up and try again. It's very forgiving when it's wet and you can always reposition it. Work out all of the water. Once you've done that, get your blade. And while you hold the PET film down, trim it. And try to hold your blade at a 45 degree angle. This will ensure that you don't leave a flap hanging there. A flap could curl up on you while it's drying. Do it to the other end. Again, hold it down. 45 degree angle. Squeegee it down. Next, grab your paper towel. Now you're going to work out all the water and dry it up as best as you can. Apply lots of pressure. Work from your way in all the way out. There you go. Done. PET film has been applied. No air bubbles. Set it aside on the dry surface. Let it cure about 10 hours before using it. That's it.